Economics 201, um, Microeconomics Intermediate. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to be looking at um, elasticity of demand. And I will just write it down to say elasticity of demand. And when we look at elasticity of demand, first, we have about three cases of elasticity of demand. And the first one is price elasticity of demand. The second one is cross elasticity of demand. And then the last one is income elasticity of demand. Right. The question that you ask yourself is why do we have to calculate all this elasticity of demands? Firstly, we say the reason why we calculate price elasticity of demand is because we want to know, one, whether demand is elastic or is unit elastic or is inelastic, right? So what why should we know whether demand is elastic, inelastic, or unit elastic? Firstly, when demand is elastic, it tells the producer to drop the price. And when it is unit elastic, it says to the, produ to the producer that this is the time to leave your price where it is. So do not increase or decrease your price. Just leave it where it is. And... When it is inelastic, it tells the producer to increase the price. Right. We will come to all these three where we are going to be using the formula, which is price elasticity of demand is equals to a percentage change in quantity demanded divided by a percentage change in price. Right, we come to that right now. Right, now, if we ask you the question, why do we calculate price elasticity of demand? You will say we are doing this so that we can determine whether demand is elastic, inelastic, or unit elastic. And what we use to do that, we are using the formula which says percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. Right, we will come back to that. Let's continue to cross elasticity of demand. Now, the second question is, why do we have to calculate the cross elasticity of demand? Firstly, we calculate cross elasticity of demand to determine whether goods are substitutes or they are complement. Right, now we want to know whether the goods are substitute goods or the goods are complementary goods. So here we are going to be using the formula cross elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. But what is happening here is the, the numerator is percentage change in quantity demanded of good X. I write small x here. But the price now is the price of good Y. So therefore here we have two goods because we must determine whether good X and good Y are complementary or substitutes. Now we will come back to that as well. Let's go further to the last one now, which is income elasticity of demand. With regard to the income elasticity of demand, we say... Here, we want to know whether the product is inferior or the product is essential or the product is luxury. Right. Now, 
when the product is essential and luxury, we say these products are normal. Now we can see that now these ones are normal. And what we are going to do now is we are now going to use the formulas here to calculate income elasticity of demand. And the, the income elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in what? Quantity divided by percentage change in income. Right. Now we will actually explain this um, formulas in details. The first one is you will see that on each and every equation, we have a numerator and a denominator. So if a denominator and a numerator are equal, then we will have the answer which is equal to 1. Now, if the price elasticity of demand is equal to 1, it means that we have unit elastic. But if your answer is greater than 1, then we have elastic. But if your answer is less than 1, now we have inelastic. So this is exactly what I wanted to teach you with regard to the first one, where we are dealing with price elasticity of demand. So therefore, this one, these three here, now we will just relate them to the first one, which is price elasticity of demand. Now we know that if we calculate price elasticity of demand and your answer is equal to 1, therefore it means that we must not change the price in the company. But if the answer is greater than 1, then the price must go down. And if your answer is less than 1, the price must increase, right? So let's come to the cross elasticity of demand. So with regard to the cross elasticity of demand, we are just going to write it here to say cross elasticity of demand. And with regard to cross elasticity of demand now, what we are trying to determine here is, remember I said the formula for this one is percentage change in quantity of good X divided by percentage change in quantity of in, in price of good y so here all we want to know is just to know whether the price whether the answer is positive or is negative now if we have a positive answer it means that your two product product x and product y are substitutes goods but if your answer is negative now it means that product X and product Y are complement, right? So that is exactly that. So what we need to do now is we need to jump to the last one, which is income elasticity of demand. And with regard to income elasticity of demand, we are saying that now is state of dividing the percentage change in quantity by any price now we divide the percentage change in income of the consumer so here again if your answer is negative negative anything it means that your product is inferior which means now when your income increases your demand for that product is going down. But if your answer is positive, but between zero and one, then this is an essential. And then if your answer is greater than one, then it means that this is now your luxury. Right. But remember that from zero up to infinity is a normal product. So these are normal products, right? 
And ladies and gentlemen, I'm asking you to please play this video again and again so that you are able to understand these three types of price elasticity of demand and then also three types of price elasticity of demand. Right. I'm just going to conclude by saying when you talk about three cases of elasticity of demand, we are talking about price elasticity of demand, cross elasticity of demand, and income elasticity of demand. But when we are talking about three cases of price elasticity of demand, we are talking about elastic demand, unit elastic demand, and inelastic demand.